PPP loans, that's over with. Now, we've seen guys run up hundreds of thousands off the PPP loans. Yeah. Now, if you look at certain people now, they, they got the, perp, the the puppy dog face. They sad. Right. You know, they, they regret what they did with the PPP loans. They wish they would have did other shit with it. Yeah. You called it, though. I remember in the pandemic, you, you called it, man. I said everybody was going to get bumped. But look, you know what's so crazy, though, right? Now, what they doing is the ERC. It's the same thing with the PPP shit. It's just a different way of, you know, wave of it type shit. So it's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? But it's just how it go. Yeah. Yeah, you called that shit, man. A lot of people got their PPP money, went to the club, rented cars, and, um, you know, a lot of different things that it just it wasn't sustainable. It wasn't... Right, right. Shit you can't show for, you know what I mean? It wasn't tangible. Right. No, I see that shit. I seen it. I mean, when I seen it, I was just like, man, if you think about it, everybody that went to jail for it, they didn't, um, they got some time, but not crazy time. But it seemed like, like I've just seen one of the dudes that, uh, remember we was just talking about him in the interview and he already back home. Baby Blue, I think. Yep. It's like he got back home quick. Uh huh. He did. Yeah. So it's cool, but I wasn't really like, I ain't fuck with it, bro. I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared of all that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that shit all was set up. 